Hi, and welcome to this episode of Wild Wonders. My name is Holland Giselli, and I'm Education Specialist at Pepperwood Preserve, located in Santa Rosa in Northern California. Pepperwood is a nonprofit organization, and our mission is to inspire conservation through science. Have you ever had the chance to get to know an oak tree? Use all your senses to notice it? Maybe watch and see what animals land in its branches? There are over 20 species of oak in California. Some are small shrub-sized and others are large tree-sized oaks. Today, we'll be exploring why oaks are so important in our oak woodland habitats. We'll also learn how to identify the coast live oak species, which grows along the coastal fog zones of California. Come on, let's go learn. Oak woodlands, which are forests full of oak trees, are an iconic habitat in California. These environments are not only beautiful, but are also very important to many plants and animals. Oak woodlands have the most wildlife species of any environment in California. More than 330 different species live there. What do you notice as you listen to this oak woodland at Pepperwood? One mature oak tree can be like a whole neighborhood with food and shelter for many animals. Holes in oaks provide a place for birds to nest or store their food. Even people use acorns. Acorns are an important food for many native peoples of California. Birds like acorn woodpeckers and western scrub jays store acorns to eat later, and their uneaten acorns can grow into new trees. Ground squirrels eat acorns, and then coyotes can eat the ground squirrels. Deer eat oak leaves and acorns, and they can rest in the oak's shade. Oaks are what is known as a keystone species. A keystone species is one of the most important species where they live because they support so many other living things around them. What do you think this environment would be like without any oaks? I am thankful there are so many varieties of oaks in California. Let's get to know one of them, the coast live oak, one of our tree-sized species. The leaves are oval-shaped and often curled with pointy spikes on the margins or edges of the leaf. Their acorns are slender and pointed and the acorn caps are covered in flat scales. These trees are evergreen which means they don't drop all of their leaves in one season. They keep green leaves all year round. This is why it's called a coast live oak, because it looks like it's alive all the time. This is Grandmother Oak. She has lived at Pepperwood for a long time. She's a coast live oak. What do you notice about her? A scientist named Wendy Herneman studied the tree rings inside Grandmother Oak and estimated that this tree is around 540 years old. That's amazing. I wonder how many animals Grandmother Oak has fed and sheltered in her life. Thank you for learning about oaks with me today. I invite you to get outside and spend some time observing an oak that lives near you. Quietly watch, listen, and see what you can notice. And don't forget to thank the oak for the wonderful habitat it provides for all of us. 
I hope that you can join us next time for our next episode of Wild Wonders. And in the meantime, stay curious and take care of yourself. <laughs>